Hey friends, I'm gonna start this video out like I start out every video, which is by apologizing for leaving you hanging like I always do. <sighs> Adult life is hard. I know this video seems a little random. The title seems a little random, especially because my YouTube channel has been really focused on like my adult braces journey. I did get a new camera, so I'm filming on the DJI Osmo Pocket, which is a really cute little toy. It's so cute. Hopefully it will help me become a better and more present YouTuber. Today um, was one of the first sunny days we've had in LA in a really long time and I wanted to take advantage of that. So I took our dog on um, a pretty long walk. And so on the way back, I wanted to hit up Starbucks. I love Starbucks, it's my jam. Placed my order on the app ahead of time. My drink was ready when I got there and we needed water. Like I know I had walked Julio way too long. He was panting, he was walking a little bit slower than normal. So I knew that he was starting to feel the effects of dehydration and I had to get him water ASAP. And so I walk up and I see the, the barista, she's standing there and we give each other the nod. And I ask her, I'm like, hey, can I get a large water with no ice? She can see that I'm holding a leash, which is obviously probably attached to a dog on the other end. He was just starting to like cut up. He was starting to bark and he was starting to be agitated. It was just like, oh my God, I need to get out of here ASAP. I ask her for the water. She's like, sure. She goes back to doing whatever she's doing. Is making 17 chocolate mint java chip frappuccino mocha mochas or whatever she was making a lot of them and i get like don't drop everything you're doing to like get me water but you know do i have to wait in line after your 2300 drinks that you're about to prepare how much effort does it take to like cup water like it's not that serious so i'm standing there and i'm standing there and i'm standing there and eventually i move closer and i'm like maybe if i give her the death stare she will give me my goddamn water she does what feels like five minutes pass and eventually i'm like okay fuck it like i go to the cooler i grab a bottle and i take it to the girl that's manning the cash register and i'm just like i can't wait on her to give me water so i'm gonna buy this bottle can you give me a small cup and she's like oh <laughs> just cash me out okay it was like unnecessarily interacting like my dog needs water i wanted to freak out i wanted to be like do you know how much money i spend here and she would have been like how much money do you spend here and be like i don't know but i know it's a lot and so on the way out i'm thinking like how much money do i actually spend here because i feel like i'm here a lot your girl be ordering ordering up saturday morning comes order up go to work order up do like i'm a, I'm a starbucks gold member if you didn't know <laughs> try achieving that okay it's it's hard work actually. I thought it would be interesting to just go ahead and figure out like how much money have I spent in Starbucks in the last year. That was a long story to get us to this point. I didn't know you can pull your bank records, you can pull your transactions. I have a credit card, two checking accounts that I know that I've spent money on Starbucks over the last year and so I'm just gonna go ahead and download those transactions and see like can I actually empirically answer the question and I'm a little nervous, I'm a little nervous it's gonna be like you spent two grand. I ordered a lot but I don't go every day. I maybe go three or four times a week ish. Some weeks are different than others, but I know it's a gross amount that I'm gonna be ashamed and embarrassed of, and I figured, <laughs> why not film it? <laughs> Somebody better get some enjoyment out of it, um, and then at least I'll know so that I can probably scale back. That credit card be hot. Be like, damn girl, you need to stop. Let me just, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pull these records. You can download them into Excel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge all of the I'm gonna merge all the transactions together and then do a create a pivot table that'll tell me how many times I went, the total amount, and probably like the average of the amounts that I spend when I do go. While I'm doing that though, what's your favorite drink at Starbucks? Like, let me know in the comments down below. My favorite hot drink is a blonde Americano with light heavy cream. That sounds ridiculous, but a light amount of heavy cream. And my favorite cold drink is rock of fuel essentially i mean literally afterwards i feel like i've been on a fucking roller coaster or something it's the cold brew light ice because they be trying to cheat you light ice with light heavy cream i'll be on 10 after having one of those bad boys if you have never had one probably start with a tall before you graduate yourself to um potentially ODing on caffeine so i pulled all the transactions in and there are a lot of them this is a lot Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. <laughs> Over the last year, and I have data from August 2018, which I'm not sure where the June and July 2018 transactions are. 
June 2018 through June 2019 and it's the second to the last day of the month so I doubt I'll go again so it's effectively all of this month. Over the course of that time I've gone to Starbucks or reloaded my card 67 times and then the sum of the amount is drum roll $620.95. That's a lot. You could make a couple car payments, buy a couple flights, you could buy half of a Louis Vuitton bag, like maybe just like the straps and the handle part. You could, you could buy a dog. I didn't pay that much for my dog. We, we paid like 550 for him. You could, oh, uh, you can't pay rent cause that's only gonna be a little drop in the bucket when it comes to rent. Um, you could, you could pay insurance. You could like, my insurance premium I think is like $600 for like six months. You could pay half of a year worth of insurance. You could do a lot, but you know what? You gotta do things that make you happy. I'm a little, I feel guilty looking at these numbers, but I'm also not going to probably stop. So the sum of the amount, 620.95 over the course of the last year. The sum of the amounts is interesting though because it varies anywhere from $23 to, or no, no, $16. I only spent $16 in March. I'd say that's pretty good. I spent $16 in March and I spent, but then the next month I spent $110.94, so $111. Why, why? We went to Vegas in April. We went to Vegas and just everything is more expensive in Vegas. They're like, we got you trapped in this hotel and you need coffee and we're gonna charge you double for it. Cause I remember I would drop $20 at a time. It would be like, I need a bottle of water, I need my drink, and then I need a breakfast sandwich. And they'd be like, that'll be $27.74. Like, <laughs> I need to reload my card, I'll be right back. In terms of the average amount, the average amount of the transactions is $9.27, which that makes sense to me considering I, I most often default to reloading my card in increments of $10 amounts, which is stupid. I should do it for more, but then I always lie to myself like, girl, you don't need no more than that. You're not gonna, <laughs> you're not gonna go again this week. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, maybe I should've. That's a lot. I could do a lot of things with that money. You know what? Do what makes you happy. But you know what I think is even probably more interesting is relative to how other people spend money at Starbucks, where do I fall? Let me just go ahead. How much does the average person spend? And that comes up in a suggested Google search. How much does the average person spend at Starbucks? So here's an article by Cliff and Pebble. It's the first hit on the Google search. And they're saying that the average amount of a tall, which is a small, is $3.43, which I would say is right. And venti is $4.43, which I would also say is right. And so if you go every day, you could spend $1,577, which I'm way below that. I'm not even half, half that. I'm doing okay. Maybe I'm doing okay. If you spend, if you go every day on a tall, it's $1,221. So that's like half. Like, I feel good about that. I feel good about that. I mean, we won't talk about all the other days, all of the other coffee I drink. Like, we have a Keurig, and that's a whole other video because I literally have bags and bags and bags of K cups that I refuse to throw away because I think in some alternate reality that I'm going to take out the filter and take out the grounds and I'm gonna recycle those cups to not be a terrible, wasteful human being, but then I just don't and they just, but hey, you gotta live life caffeinated, right? All my caffeinated people know what I'm talking about. All right, well, I don't feel so bad. Well, if you like this video or if you think that I'm interesting, you know, it's so funny because I just checked my analytics and there are actually over 1,100 people on the internet that think that I'm interesting enough to subscribe and want to follow my content, which is just mind blowing. Like I can't thank you guys enough. So if you liked today's video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Um, if you have any video recommendations, leave those down below when you also tell me what your favorite drink at Starbucks is. So with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.